Um, I always stop at Price Chopper in Great Valley. My friend Kevin Brown is the manager there. Mm -hmm. And I always stop there and uh, check grocery prices out and, and get some snacks mm -hmm. right here and take them to the game or take them home. And um, he set me up with uh, a Frito-Lay guy. Uh, I'm going to try to pronounce his name here. Uh, Shibu? Shibi? Shibu. I think is his name. And I'm uh, Apologize if I'm mispronounced that. Anyway, he set me up some contacts, maybe talk to Frito Lay about maybe doing some sponsorships. I've tried to reach out to him on Twitter, Facebook, and I'm just I'm just not making any traction with that. So what I'm hoping with well with this, mm -hmm. this meeting right here, and uh, with Kevin Brown and and um, his uh, Frito Lay rep that maybe we can get some movement on this. And I like these Snickers too. And there's just so many snacks, but these are my main things. I really like the Munchie Crackers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've actually been trying to lose some weight, and uh, there's no science behind this. But my daily routine is I eat a banana and a peanut butter cracker. Those are the <laughs> best. And then I wash it down with a good cherry pop tart. <laughs> So, so which one was you eating on on my camera, TikTok? Yeah, on your TikTok, it was just, it yeah, it was this one right here. Matter of fact, <laughs> once again, my family has said, "Man, you look like your stomach was so big there. Well, I had all my snacks in there." <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just broke one of those open, and uh, uh, then I got busted. Of course, I went to a end of the season a couple weeks ago at. I think it's Chicken and Pickle in Overland Park. Chiefs putting it on for all the employees that help out with the stadium. Oh, okay. I never heard of them. Yeah, and i seen some of the security, uh, chief security there, and they're the best group of guys came up. And I figured they would be maybe one of my critics, but they're like, man, that was great. That was wonderful. <laughs> you did that. That was so funny. I said, yes. And that kind of gave me a peace of, of mind, you know, and so forth. But it, but as far as the TikTok go, if they go to my websites there, or not really websites, my uh, my TikTok, and I've actually got my email address down there. Yeah, no, I've if, seen if it. If you want to email me a message or something, I can answer it, or you want to send me snacks, <laughs> go to my bio. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about your family and everything. So I know you was talking about your son earlier, number 55. Yeah, number uh, 55. So he, he played football he, in college? No, he just played He played football in, um, in high school. Okay. And then... Uh, him and my daughter both actually went to school at UCM in Warrensburg. Oh, okay. And uh, didn't play football there. Just got a, a couple, you know, degrees. And then son Corey, he just moved down to Florida right away. He went down there one time on a trip. He decided after college he's going to Florida. Mm -hmm. So he's one of the children that don't communicate much. Mm -hmm. He just says this is what he wants to do. He's going to do it. No That's plan. It. He just goes down there, and I got family down there. He stayed with them. Yeah. And met a wonderful gal, Christina, and they got married. Christina, small now, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, she's a nurse and she's a traveling nurse. Oh, okay. So they're, they're doing um, tours out. I call them tours, doing whatever you call for nursing mm -hmm. out in California right now, and making you know pretty good living doing that. And yep. you know he does day trading. He does some webs, and he he keeps pretty busy making some income coming in and. Daughter Emily, she, her and her husband Jeremiah Barnes, they live there in Independence, and they're Jeremiah's the greatest guy. He can do anything in the world. He also has a lot of little stuff that he's got a knack for anything. So he does real good. Emily works. Uh, I don't know. I hate to say this. I really don't know what she does, but she, she kind of works with mental health. Mm -hmm. So I can't really tell you what she does. She just travels a lot with them and. Raising them two twin boys are a year old, so that's cool. the highlight of my life. That's what's up. So, what about your hobbies and everything? Well, my hobbies is I love camping. That's my highlight. Of my life is camping, and mm -hmm. oh, I better say my wife Judy. She's <laughs> she doesn't care much for camping, but just just as soon as I say, "Hey, I'm going camping," take the bags out the camper, she's with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I really like doing it. I really like uh, dealing in cryptocurrency. I like. I want to get into it, but uh, I'm, I'm still not too for sure on it yet. I'm still scared to get on it. I understand. I jumped into it, and I, I dibble a little bit in it. Stock market's kind of hurting right now, but to me, it's a good time to buy stuff. So I just buy a little bit here at a time. So I like doing that, and I really like watching a lot of news. My wife gets tired of that. 
I watch it in the morning time. Before I go to work, I make sure I watch it. <laughs> yeah. Because I want to know about the wrecks on 70 Highway, because it's always a wreck on 70 yeah, Highway. You got morning. that right. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Man. Yeah. So I do want to, I do like watching news. There's a channel I like really watching, Newsmax, and I like watching them. So mm -hmm. uh, probably my hobbies are camping, TikToking. Can't forget TikToking. <laughs> And I do Instagram, I do Facebook, and I do uh, Snapchat mm -hmm. for fun. And, but most of all, I just like being at home. I'm a whole body person. Yeah, I used to be until I started doing everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs>